Today, we're gonna go dumpster diving through 100 dumpsters behind company buildings to see what companies actually throw away, and hopefully, we'll be able to find some actual pretty cool items that we'll be able to keep. Dumpster diving is salvaging from large commercial residential containers for unused items discarded by their owners, but deemed useful to the picker. All right, guys, so I just got downtown in my area for our first dumpster diving spot, and it looks like there's an entrance here that we can just walk into in this parking spot. So the reason I wanna go here is because a lot of the people in apartments have a big compact room. They have cool furniture that they might not want anymore or some electronics, fingers crossed, or at least something that's not just typical trash. So the first thing that kind of caught my eye was this igloo thing. Um, honestly, looks good. There's no like cracks or anything on it, I don't think. It's just kind of filled with some mossy, nasty water. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's solid. It's not leaking or anything. Honestly, a good find for the first like, first trash spot. Honestly, top of the key, on top of the fridge, we have a, it looks like, a keyboard, an HP keyboard. All the buttons seem to be pressable. We can plug this in later, then hopefully it turns on and actually works. This might be able to definitely be worth 30, $25, $30 maybe. A little bit of dust cleaner. There's no glass. That's so upsetting. I had such high hopes. Honestly though, I might keep this and just try to put some glass on it. So a little recap from what we got from the first dumpster, dumpster is two pretty soft pillows, a table frame without some glass, a keyboard that potentially has potential to work, an igloo, cooler here that has a little bit of nasty water in it, but that's okay. A little futon type of pillow thing that I can maybe make work with something. Honestly, not a bad find for the first dumpster. Let's head on to dumpster number two and see what we can find. So pretty much all the other dumpsters that I decided to hit up were pretty much all busts. They were just normal trash in them and nothing really special to it or they also had locks on them, which I was not gonna be breaking locks to try to get into a dumpster. And when I was leaving my last dumpster, I found one of the coolest spots that I think I've ever seen before, and I found this. It literally looks like an old warehouse with like tables and stuff. Whoa! Dude! Oh, God! There's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a step there. <laughs> Dude, that is cool. Wow. There's some... Oh crap, are those aluminum seats? Dude, that's cool. And there's like 20, 30, 40 of them. Honestly, I kinda wanna take one. But at the same time, like, what do you think something like that would run? This is definitely an extraordinary find. Like, that's, I, I honestly, I can't not, not take one. So like, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, boys, so we have one more stop left. We went to a cool little warehouse spot. We went to Food Lion and we went to Burlington. And the last place we're gonna go is a computer slash hardware slash appliance place. The actual seat was actually really nice. I'm not gonna lie. But to actually be able to find some appliances to be able to use, working appliances, like I would be, just to find one, honestly, I would be over the moon. Like, I'm honestly so excited. I'm hoping this really works. Fingers crossed. Let's, let's just go. <laughs> Dude,
Let's look in here. It looks like nothing but food. Wait, wait, there's something blue. No way! Dude! Dude, there's no freaking way! Oh! Oh my god, okay, hold on, let me prop this light up so we can actually see. I really wish I had more light than just my phone, but here we go, the GoPro one first. There's something in there, dude. The booklet. Some stickers. More instructions. Looks like instructions. Dude, a literally a dusty mount, but it's literally a mount that you can put your GoPro on. That is insane. Another little sticky car mount that you can put on there. That's cool. Definitely take that. I don't know. It looks like a little suction type thing, maybe. I have no idea. And another little mount, maybe. But that is cool. All right, all right, let's go to the Echo Show. I don't think there's anything in here. No, nothing in there. That one's a bus. Nothing in there. Uh, and that's just an open box full of nothing as well. Honestly, that's, that's a good find. That's like probably 30 bucks right there, 40, 50 bucks, 30, 40, 50 bucks. No freaking way! Dude, that's an iPhone, another Fire thing, and Fire HD Plus. And it looks like another box down there, but I don't know what it is. Okay, let me get this out, let me get this out. So it looks like we have an iPhone box here. We have a 50-in-1 card reader writer, which looks very dirty, but it's okay. It's in the package still. And we have another Fire HD Plus, but I don't think anything is inside of there. No, there definitely is. First of all, that is really cool, the 50-in-1. Not open, $4.97. We're gonna get it for free. That is really cool. Wait. Okay, there's nothing in there. That's what it doesn't look like. But there was stuff stuck in it. It looks like there's a an SD card reader. There's SD card readers and SDHC card readers. That's really cool, all in one. Up there. And it looks like an off-brand of maybe some headphones. Let's put this back here. Yes, literally some headphones, off-brand headphones. And they're charged, maybe. Maybe I have no idea, but some off-brand headphones. That's pretty cool as well. And the moment of all truth, the iPhone box here. I don't really hear anything inside, but we're gonna pray. Okay, so. Nope, just some paperwork, no stickers or anything as well. And there's nothing in there. Unfortunately, dang, dude, 256 gigabytes, dude. Someone got a nice one. If that was an iPhone in there, someone got lucky, and I wish it could have been me, but dang, dude, that was such a good find. Anyway, boys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Drop a comment down below what video I should do next. Leave a like on the video and share with your friends, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.